Hi again, Sandra. We spoke for your other film this year. Um, I just got done talking to Messi, so sorry that you have to compete with that. Oh, we uh, don't understand each other. Uh, I had my dog try to do the interview, but he's not as well trained, so he decided he wasn't interested. Okay, um, good. We're live, so no second takes. Uh, but it's it's so thrilling to talk to you guys. I imagine it's it's still kind of surreal to see in the span of six to nine months just how the film goes from okay it's going to can i hope it does well to oh wow it did really well to i hope american audiences watch it to oh they watched it oh we got oh. oscar nominations like it's it's almost the thing of like what's the best case scenario and you know we so rarely get to live in that so i'm and as an artist what's it like to live in someone and people just getting the work yeah, you know how you described it is really marvelous because it really goes step by step. You don't wake up in the morning and you're here in this room doing the interviews a few weeks before the Oscars. It's really, it really went from one thing to the other and one challenge to the other. And in one, at one point, it's really not in our hands anymore. We've done the work really long ago in spring of 22. And you've done it a little bit longer because the editing process yeah. was such a long and very ten months, delicate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 10 months of editing. Yeah. So um, so the choices that Justine has made, they're paying off over and over again. And with Laurent Sénéchal, of course, uh, the great editor. Um, yeah, to me, it's sometimes, I mean, it's really common to say that. It's really sometimes like a fairy tale or a dream or, but at the same time, it's really, really real. All the things that we do, all the people that we meet are actual people and real conversations. And sometimes it's even real connections that that come from it. So I, for myself, can say I'm like more than happy to be part of this. Oh, yeah, I'd imagine. Um, and, and Justine, just having the work resonate with people because you tell a story that's important to you because why would you tell a story if it's not? But you, you never know. It could easily be what liked and then ignored, right? It could be liked and then a nice review and then that's it. it to have it be people engaging with it on, on so many levels and wanting to debate the ending, wanting to just look at like, oh, the legal system is different in a different country. Like so many different conversations all within the realm of we also enjoyed the film. I imagine that's super satisfying that people like the movie. It's not just that they get it. It's that they have a good time with the story and are engaged on all the levels. It's it really is kind of amazing that that people are doing it that way. Yeah, it's it's super surprising for me, of course, uh, but because we cannot expect this kind of thing, you know. And yeah. I think with this film, um, people seems to be so um, um, involved, you know, in this story. I don't know why, but they, they not everyone, of course, but. A lot of people told us to uh, their own life, you know, our own lives, and uh, and I think they feel so close to this couple and to this, yes, to this um, com complexity, uh, and uh, yeah, um, it, I think it's the first time in my life that all the discussion with the the audience is much more about yeah, the life of of the audience, you know, yeah. the life of the spectator. Uh, who's uh, facing really um, uh, them to uh, this story, to this couple, and uh, sometimes to this wife, and sometimes to the to the to the 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 husband. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, th I think there's something very simple but really universal to the idea of would anyone want to have a private conversation relayed to the public? We all have had a conversation where you're like, really hope no one else hears that. And just the idea <laughs> of that, you know, because whether you like the other person knows what I mean, or we were mad, whatever the case may be, the idea of then having it projected while someone else tells a story about what you meant, whether or not you meant that, I think that captures people in just a very profound, like almost horrific way of like, that might be the worst nightmare is other people telling you, we know what you meant. And you're like, you, you know, nothing of my work. And I think you capture it in such a, a great way and to have Sandra have to kind of take it right and then push back but also be like I can't tell you you're wrong I can only tell you why I know that I'm right and that's such an interesting thing 
And I think the way that people are so obsessed with true crime factors, that it just it's such a perfect mo- movie for the different types of audiences we have and, and just respecting an audience's intelligence. It's amazing. And I think trusting yourself that you can tell a story that way and people will come along for it has, has paid off. Because I think if it was dumbed down, people wouldn't respond in the same way. The fact that it is smart is so um, moving and interesting to watch. You know, when I read the script for the first time, I had exactly that same feeling. It doesn't happen all the time that a filmmaker or a script writer uh, challenges the audience in a way that Justine and Arthur do. Um, and I don't know why, because that's the fun of it, right? Yeah, yeah, we everyone have does. the same narratives all over again, which we sometimes do to recreate certain cliches, um, yeah. maybe to criticize them. But in the end, you know, that doesn't change anything. I I really like the fact that here we see somebody speak in a way, or a lot of people speak in a way that I haven't seen characters speak on a screen or in cinema before, like pointing out the problem in a relationship or in relationships. Uh, because this problem of balance or something seems to be very common. It seems... Yeah. To touch almost everybody it seems to be a modern thing yeah yeah and i think we, we try to be very honest you know and not to avoid the, the mediocrity of human you know and i think it was really our obsession when we watched this movie and uh uh not just you know um stay on the surface but we need to dive <laughs> very yeah. in the ugly things and the beauty things in the but it's a it's a landscape you know it's not just one thing or and uh and of course the argument scene was uh was really uh yes she it's it's the core the core of the movie and uh and we try to be very honest in this scene uh, right. um and not and not in not trying to put this person in a yeah in a sorry uh, de, 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 de pas les rendre trop parfait quoi de vraiment les aller qui une forme d'aspérité sorry so not to try to portray them in a in a perfect with perfection yeah in, on the contrary yes. into... human beings yeah okay yeah. flawed flawed humans of course um you guys should be so proud of this I, I love it it's so great and the fact that you made Messi a star that's great so. <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's so great that you guys get to take a victory lap. Congrats again. I can't wait to see what's next from both of you. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Bye. My Talk pleasure. Peace.